Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with my NCIS LEGO mock. I have quite a few features packed into this mock. I have the main squad room, I have the director's office, the MTAC room, the conference room, the evidence room, the conference room, the main entrance, Abby's lab, autopsy, as well as the interrogation rooms. Right here on the ground level I have this fountain. As you can see, it's got this huge waterfall spilling up from the top here, and then it's got water all through it. Over here on the right side of the mock, as you can see, I have the little NCIS sign. I have this little flower bed here, and on the sidewalk, it actually says May 2012 to represent the bombing that happened in the show. Behind the NCIS sign, as you can see, I have these little hazardous printed glass pieces from Jealous Panda. In the middle of the area, it's just the staircase leading up to the building, and there's nothing too special about it. Over here on the left side of the mock is just another little flower bed with some windows, and that's actually for the evidence garage, but there's not really anything there. Underneath it also says US Navy. As I mentioned, here are the front doors of the mock, and as you can see, we have two guards standing there. Behind there are the big double glass doors as well as this NCIS brick and like a little clock. So here's like the first floor. This is the entranceway into the mock and it's like the security room. As you can see, there are the front doors right there and then there's like a security guy at a desk, you know, with his coffee cup and just letting people go through security. Over here we have this like gray metal detector to make sure nobody's bringing any dangerous weapons into the NCIS building. Built into the first floor is this little alarm and let's face it, it's only used when there's an emergency. In the NCIS building. Just past the main entrance way here, we have an elevator shaft that does not open on the first floor, and we have the conference room. The conference room is just sort of a space filler because I didn't know where else to put it. There's the door there, and over here we have the water cooler and like the coffee machine. Pretty much taking up the entire room is the conference table, and as you can see in the center there's like a fruit basket so people can eat. In the very far corner there's a nice little flower, and then over here is the, the back of a TV. The squad room is the main room of NCIS where the team sits and they have four desks. On this side of the squad room are Ziva's desk, soon to be Ellie's desk, as well as Gibbs's desk. On the wall behind them is the NCIS Most Wanted poster, and this is actually a poster that I made showing a lot of the different characters in NCIS, and unfortunately when they have passed away, an X goes through them. Above the NCIS Most Wanted wall is just a clock. On the other side of the squad room are McGee's and Dinozo's desk. As you can see, they have a flat TV, flat screen TV right behind them to show all the new information, as well as a staircase. Way behind them is actually a gun safe, which easily pops out and holds all the different weapons that I need for these characters. This is another elevator shaft, but there's not really an elevator in it, and it doesn't go anywhere since the Abby's lab and autopsy room aren't even in the building right now. When you move on past the squad room, you go to the interrogation room and the break room. This is the little hallway that you sometimes see in the NCIS show. Here is the side of the glass where like the NCIS agents stand behind. As you can see, there's a camera filming them, a voice recorder, and just a computer. This is where they make the criminals sit and squirm. You're probably wondering what the heck this little crack is, and this is basically the break room. That's literally all there is. It is the smallest room. It is four studs wide. As you can see, there's like a door in the background. There's also like a table and a coffee pot. Back in the squad room, you go up the stairs to the MTAC and the director's office. As you can see, these two rooms take up the rest of the space on this floor. The rest of the space that's used anyway. These white doors are the MTAC room and this black and blue door is the director's room. You'll find out what this red stud is a little later on into the mock video. Here is MTech. This is like the holy grail of computer rooms. As you can see on the whole line of the wall, there's monitors on the wall and there's three technicians operating all the awesome stuff that is in the MTech room. As you can see, I've used a little bit of the snot method here with the slopes going down because you'll find out in a second. As you can see, there's another one of those red studs as well as the whole black wall because that's a big TV screen for when they have to make like video conference calls. And then there's two chairs so they can just sit down and relax. Up top here, there's just kind of like a little arsenal of a bunch of guns and stuff like that. That's more of just a play feature than anything. The director's room is another one of those really hard rooms to film just because there's not a good spot for a camera angle. In the director's room, as you can see here is like this bookcase full of wine and some wine bottles and stuff like that just for when it's a stressful meeting. 
there's the director's desk right here, which is mainly the centerpiece of the room where he sits and does all his work and stuff like that. Off to the side is another little desk for when they have to have like private conversations with multiple people, as well as a TV monitor on the screen just so we can monitor what's going on in the NCIS building as well as just in the world. As you can see in the director's office, there's this little corner with a switch and a battery. The only reason it's here is just because there was nowhere else in the building to put it. But basically what you do is you flick the switch and it activates an alarm sequence throughout the building. This activates a red light and as you can see there's a red light stud in the MTAC room as well as a red light stud in the squad room. And they tie very nicely with the alarm. Here is the whole roof to the building and the roof is actually modular style so that's pretty cool. Off to this side here we have one satellite dish as well as the skylight for the mock. And then on the other side we have another satellite dish and then this little helicopter pad. I don't really have Abby's lab and Ducky's autopsy room in this mock because in the real TV show they're underground and as you can see I can't put the building underground with my city so they're actually on a separate building on a separate base plate but the conflicting thing of it is they're on a 20, 36 by 36 base plate because this used this mock used to be a 36 by 36 mock but now it's a 48 by 48 so I've got to do some rearranging but because I don't really need it they're just kind of in storage thanks so much for watching this NCIS Lego mock I really hope you enjoy it and I hope the quality of the video wasn't too bad. If it was, feel free to give it a thumbs up and if the quality was really good, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching this Brick Lover 18 LEGO video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to subscribe for all LEGO all the time, click the subscribe brick and you'll subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more of our previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there containing all our videos. If you want to see more Brick Lover 18, head on over to BrickLover18.com where you'll find the links to our Twitter and our Instagram and our Brick Link. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like on this video as well as a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe brick. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope you have a great day.